what's up guys and welcome back for another video in today's video as you tell by the title i'm going to be showing you guys what i pack in my hospital bag and i'm also going to be showing you guys how i pack my hospital bag so with that being said let's go right ahead and get started all right guys so i did go ahead and organize everything into sections of what i'm going to be taking with me for my hospital stay um such things as my toiletry my night clothes my um clothes to leave the hospital to kind of stay in the hospital and etc so that's what you guys are going to see in this next clip so let's all right go. guys so first i'm going to start off with my toiletry items so this is the bag that i'm going to pack all of my toiletry items in i do need to wash it it has like some kind of oil stain on it but I actually bought this for my husband for Father's Day like a few years ago. He doesn't use it anymore, so I'm just going to use it for myself. Starting over here, I have this Degree Spray, um, Dry Spray Deodorant. I actually carry this in my purse for when I forget to put on deodorant. I'm also going to be bringing this Nivea Cream Lotion. It's like a, um, you know, like a lotion that you can carry in your bag just in case you forget to put lotion on uh, put lotion on at the house i pro probably only going to use this like once i leave the hospital so i won't be ashy but i bought two just in case one isn't enough all right so moving on the next item i'm going to be bringing is my pads always pads and this is the um overnight maxi always pads I'm only gonna bring six i might bring more but they do give you like pads and things like that while you're in a hospital but i bring my own for just extra protection and comfort so next i'm gonna be bringing my sensodyne all whitening toothpaste keep in mind they do give you a lot of um toiletry items while you're in a hospital but the toothpaste that they give you doesn't really do anything for me so i like to bring my own I'm also going to be bringing my toothbrush. This is actually a clean toothbrush. Um, I had some toothbrush stored away in my bathroom, so I'm going to be bringing that one. I'm also going to be bringing some Dove soap. Um, this is the Gentle Exfoliating Dove soap. They do give you body wash and, um, and soap in the hospital, but it's actually really small and it doesn't do anything for me, so I'm bringing my own. So next section... Um, I'm going to be bringing, these are my skincare products. Now, this is not my usual facial cleanser of choice, but I'm actually waiting for um, for the Butter Bar Company to ship my new um, facial cleanser. It hasn't shipped yet, so I'm just going to have to resort to an alternative. So, this Topi Claire Cocoa Butter Soap, um, I've used this in the past. My husband introduced it to me. It actually works really well, but you guys know that once you start using other skincare products and, resort, and you resort back to old one, it don't really... Um, has the same effect but i'm only going to be using it for like a few days and then going back to my usual facial cleanser i'm also going to be bringing my facial moisturizer which is the oat and green tea moisturizer i shared you i shared this with you guys in my skincare videos which i'll link in the description box if you're interested um i'm also going to be bringing my yucca hydrating mist spray i'm also going to be bringing my black girl sunscreen can't leave your house without sunscreen no matter the weather <laughs> I'm also going to be bringing this Aquaphor Lip Ther um, Healing Ointment. And this is actually for my lips. I might use it on my skin instead of the lotion so that the baby won't pick up on the scent and like get irritated or anything. But we will see. But I mostly bought it, you know, for my lips. Keep my lips moisturized. Okay, next, I'm going to be bringing these shower caps. Um... I think it's three in here but i like to bring i need two since i have flats and one isn't enough to hold everything so i'm going to be bringing two or three whichever however many is in here and i'm also going to be bringing my nipple cream this is to protect my nipple from any dry um dryness or cracks that i may experience once i start breastfeeding i want to be super comfortable so i brought it with me, so i'm going to bring it with me um, I might take this deodorant instead because this is the deodorant of choice that I use, which I share with you guys in my feminine hygiene video, which I'll have link in the description box. But I didn't really want to carry this because this is what I primarily use um, every day. And just in case I forget it or anything, I would hate to have to go out and buy more. Yeah, I'm that <laughs> protective over my things. But nevertheless, I don't like to switch deodorants, especially um, when it's a different brand. So I might end up bringing this anyway and leaving the degree one that I shared with you guys. 
all right next i'm gonna be bringing this body mist um y'all know i love to smell good i might not use it while i'm in the hospital i might just spray a little when i'm leaving just so i can smell good y'all know i love perfume and um <laughs> so i have to bring something to um give me a nice scent also going to be debating or not whether i want to take this full size bottle of lotion i did i forgot when i went to walmart i forgot to get the travel size bottles to use for like lotion um you know uh and whatever else that you would put in those um you know travel size empty tubes but um if not you know i'll just use the nivea cream lotion that i showed you guys earlier but i um this is a new lotion i picked up so moving on now i'm gonna show you guys um my sleeping clothes so i'm gonna be bringing this two-piece sleepwear i purchased off of walmart i'll try to put a picture of it on the side to give you guys a full size view but i did buy two of them in a size medium and they were on sale for nine dollars and 55 cents i'm not sure if it's still in stock but i'll try to leave the link down below if just in case any of you are interested and these both um the shirt is short sleeve and the pants is long sleeve super comfortable it has it's, it has a very soft like material which i love because i hate tight fitting um pajamas i i always opt for a loose fitting pajamas for extra comfort because you don't you're going to be bleeding and you don't want to be having everything just all up your butt and you know next i'm going to be bringing my robe i purchased this off of amazon i think two years ago i got this for my uh, i bought this when i had my youngest son so i think it's been almost two years but it's super warm super comfortable i have to bring it with me so moving on the i'm going to be wearing while i'm in the hospital because you know you stay for like two days so i don't want to be in my pajamas all day so i am going to be bringing this um t-shirt oversized t-shirt and it says every day is a good day to be black you can't see the whole thing but there it goes right there and then i'm going to be wearing some comfortable tights with them obviously it's two different blacks but i want to be comfortable like i said so this is what i'm going to be wearing while i'm like in staying in the hospital and while once i leave i am going to be wearing this two-piece outfit i got off of shein it's a long sleeve um jacket let me try to get a better view looks like it's a long sleeve jacket i hope it doesn't fit like a half jacket because i will really be upset about that but on the picture it didn't show that and then to match with it it does have comes with the short so this is what the whole outfit looks like i like i said i want to be super comfortable while i'm in the hospital as well as leaving so i opted for very comfortable and just soft like material clothing um, but I'll definitely let you um, leave this the link to this outfit below. I think it's still in stock. I don't know. I'm not sure. But moving on. So while I'm in a hospital, I love to have slippers, um, um, some type of comfortable slippers to walk in. So I did get these slippers from Walmart, and they look like this. And I think I only paid like $5.97. It took a little while to get here, but overall... These are very soft, comfortable. I know I'm going to love them um, once I wear them. Next, I'm going to be bringing these slippers that I got off of Shein to leave the hospital. Um, the only downside I don't like about these shoes is that they are tight fitting. Um, I should have went a size up, but I'm thinking maybe because I haven't wore them, I have to just kind of break it in because it fit. It's just tight, if that makes sense. But yeah, I'm going to bring these to leave the hospital. Um so yeah all right moving on so i am going to be bringing my bonnet this is a long bonnet i am going to be bringing this comfortable um bra by the brand um what brand is this oh this is by the brand playtex i had this bra for years super comfortable i do wish they had a bigger size because this is kind of getting a little tight on me but that is what i'm going to wear when i leave the hospital and I, i'm i'm also going to be bringing this hands um comfort sports bra um it is in the size 2x now i will say that although this bra is comfortable it doesn't give you much support my boobs don't sit up or anything and i don't like that but for the most part i only wear these in the house when i'm like need to clean and i want to just don't want my boobs to be like all over the place <laughs> but i'm gonna bring this for um when i'm staying in the hospital just for you know comfort and things like that to protect my boobs and stuff 
All right, so next, I am going to be bringing these tights. And these are some old, as you guys can tell, it has the cotton balls or whatever. But these are some old tights that I cut up. I'm going to be wearing this up under my clothes for extra comfort. Um, so, like, just in case I have an accident, you know, I can I have this extra layer of protection. And I only wear this under my clothes, you know, for that time of the month just for that extra comfort. And then this is my underwear. You guys know what it looks like. I did buy these off of, um, I did get these underwear off of Walmart. And I think for a pack of eight, they were like eight or ten something. I don't know. I really don't remember. <laughs> All right. So the last thing I'm going to be packing is for the baby. And this is his onesie. I'm going to put him on once he leaves the hospital. Super, super cute. And then I'm going to be putting him on these socks as well for when he leaves the hospital. And then I'm bringing this comforter that I bought for him while he's in the hospital for extra comfort and protection. Because the hospital is super super cold and i would really hate for him to be freezing i did this with all of my kids and it was super comfortable for them so this kid is no different all right so i did forget to mention the diaper um the hospital bags i'm going to be bringing and i'm either debating on this one i got off of she and i feel like it has less room than the one i got from walmart which i'm about to show you guys but i don't know um or i'm gonna bring this hospital bag that i got from walmart and i think i'm gonna just go with this one because this seemed a little a little bit more roomy and i like to have extra room just in case i need to bring something extra y'all know but yeah so that's everything i'm gonna go ahead and pack up everything which you guys are going to see in this next clip forgot to mention you definitely want to make sure you pack you a snack bag the hospital does supply you with breakfast lunch and dinner but sometimes it's really nasty um there were times i didn't even eat it and i was really hungry um, my husband was able to bring me food but sometimes you get really hungry like at those late nights when the baby is feeding so you definitely want to make sure you bring you like a snack bag i like to pack like granolas crackers um nuts um just anything that's you know can't that don't require to be refrigerator or warmed up or anything like that just pack it um favorite snack <music> of my toiletry items i'm not gonna pack this stuff yet because i'm still using it um once i go into labor that's when i'll just add it into the um that's when i'll just add it into my bag but yeah for the most part i did package up the rest of my toiletry items in the bag um yeah it looks like i'm gonna need to wash this i completely forgot about the oil i mentioned earlier 
um but yeah so let me just take this pull this to the side because i need to wash it but this is what everything looks like so it looks like i was able to fit everything um this is my clothes i'm gonna be leaving the hospital with that was a pretty thick um material so it, i had to like kind of maneuver and get it to fit so that other things can fit and then i have my baby blanket here as well then i have my slipper socks then i have my sandals um i have my nightgown right here i mean not my nightgown i'm sorry guys i have my night clothes here on top and then i also have my um clothes i'm going to be wearing in the hospital at the bottom um i still need to add my robe but i need to wash it i um so i'm going to wash it first and then i'm going to just add it here um, which is more than enough room for it to fit and then I'll go ahead and add the toiletry items after I wash this bag And it'll fit on top and then that is pretty much it. Oh, um, I do have this pocket on the side right here Um right here and I put all of my um underwear and bras in there So, um everything worked out fine. Um, I definitely give this um I definitely give this duffel bag a 10 out of 10 the quality is super sturdy and durable um it has more than enough room to fit what you need i mean obviously if you're not packing like for a full vacation or anything just like a weekend getaway or whatever you have it it will work out fine i was going to use the shein um duffel bag but i felt like this had a lot more room but yeah guys all right guys so this pretty much concludes the video my pack with me hospital bag um i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe and also leave me a comment down below showing me some love and as always i'll see you guys in my next video thank you so much for supporting me and watching my videos and yeah